Good morning, familia. What's up? <laughs> so it is Saturday today, and your baby G is temping. We'll say I stopped by Dunkin's. Dunkin' Donuts has like the best hot chocolate, okay? Um, I like Starbucks, but the Starbucks hot chocolate, mm -mm. Dunkin' Donuts, that's the one. And I got a plain bagel, cream cheese on the side. And it's still fairly early. I would say it's like 7.22 right now. So I still have plenty of time. My work shift starts at 8 a.m. But as a hygienist, as a temporary hygienist, you know, you really don't know what you're getting yourself into. You don't know where anything is in the room. But um, what system they use for scheduling or taking x-rays, you know. So I do like to be there about 7 30 um 7 45 at the latest you know um definitely arrive at least i would say 15 to 30 minutes before your shift begins some offices let me punch in and then they show me around and then i don't feel flustered I'm about to lose my mind. Just trying to get famous good morning so apparently i'm the only one in the parking lot so uh it is currently 7 27 i'm gonna try to eat a little bit of my bagel and then i'll be heading on inside so <clears throat> i'm currently watching one of my new favorite youtubers she's amazing you guys um so peaceful her name is allison that's literally her youtube channel um so another tip is have breakfast right before you go in i'm working eight to two you do want to have your breakfast um that way you're not starving and there you have energy you know what i'm saying so that'll be tip number two eat before you go and if you're working a longer day pack a lunch because you don't know what restaurants will be around you so be prepared so it's literally 7 45. this one car in the parking lot um but as soon as I see somebody get out and go in, I'm heading in. I've been ready, honey. Like, I want to review charts before I see my first patient, so. busy in that office okay let me tell you i mm -mm. it was too much i like busy but i like to be uh, I, I like to have enough time per patient to do you know a thorough job to be able to build rapport with people so i'm stopping by popeyes because it is too um too late in the day for me to go and cook and then have to clean like no I will say I had somebody make a comment on one of my videos and she was asking like how I manage cooking and cleaning and the answer is I don't. I have a lot of help from my mother-in-law. She does a lot of the cooking, 
um, the cleaning I like to maintain the house you know um, my husband's helpful but I'm not like I don't know I, I like to prioritize so even though I know eating at home is healthier nobody got time for that so I'm here eating poison I'm tired I work six days this week and my body can only take so much but little recap I got there uh, like I said I was super early right but the people from the office were not well, that's for my mask the people from the office were not there until like 10 minutes before our first patient at 8 a.m. which I don't like because I don't like to feel flustered then the dentist gave me a room um, so I filled the water bottle I got I started opening the drawers touching the chair to see how it goes up and down so that I'm not doing that in front of the patient um, and then literally like five minutes before my first patient a hygienist shows up and she's like oh this is my room and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, she's like, yeah, you can use the other one. And I'm like, wow, this is like ridiculous. You know what I mean? I'm like, I literally just filled a water bottle. Now I have to go get used to another room. And then my patient was right on time. Um, I also only got 45 minutes per patient, including if they needed an FMX, which again, I'm sure there are hygienists that like are really good at doing that. But your hygienist, I told you guys, I'm like, a slow turtle i i don't like that like super fast pace like that mm -mm. i give myself um shorter recalls if my patients only have six teeth if i know they don't need exam um but not not if they need a bunch of stuff like x-rays period charting like it's it's mm -mm. not for me the doctor did come in and do the exams right on time so at least i didn't have to be um like waiting for an exam i didn't really run behind except for my last patient because it was right after i had to do an fmx so i saw eight patients from eight to two no cancellation um the instruments unfortunately were not in working order like <laughs> i had leaking instruments dull instruments it was like chaotic today you guys it was that's the thing you have to keep in mind when you're temping sis it's not gonna be always perfect you're not always gonna like you know how fast paced they are or the instruments like you just gotta be mindful of that you know i'm flying and i have a two-piece meal um spicy with rice and beans <laughs> we're gonna get comidita oh guys this is Thanksgiving at my house. Uh, it's a little messy. Baby, where's your phone? Hi, Chi Chi. Say hi to the vlog. My love. Aw, me or the girls from the YouTube? You are only you. Okay, good. House is a mess. Um, gotta put everything away, but. Yes, I was wearing, you know, like jeans and a cute shirt, but no, ma'am. <laughs> I changed real quick. I'm back on uh, comfortable clothing, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so this house is a mess. Oh, I want to show you guys a cute little find. I am obsessed with this. And happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you for supporting the channel. Love you guys. I'm thankful for you all.